What's up guys, Grim here. Today we are playing some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and I am rocking my Voodoo Realm t-shirt here which is gamer apparel. If you'd like to get you a t-shirt yourself uh, with the multiple designs that they have, check out the description below this video and I have a link there. Uh, get you a t-shirt yourself, they are very, very cool. All right, so I'm wanting to make this video on how to get shards for two of the most popular and powerful characters in the game right now and that is Bayes and Chirrut. Bayes is basically a rebel tank and Chirrut is a rebel healer and whenever used together they have amazing synergy that makes your team so much more powerful usually. Uh, I've gotten them myself and I am blown away by how strong they have made my team. Even at their weakened state that I have them at right now I haven't really worked them up too much yet but they are making a big difference. All right, so let's go ahead and get into how to farm or get shards for Baze. Uh, Baze is the Rogue One tank here. We're going to go ahead and check him out. Uh, as you can see, I don't have him worked up just yet. I'm working on him myself, but he is really, really good. All right, so how do we get shards for this? Well, the way that the game basically provides free to play players to farm him is by going into the light side battles and going to hard mode 9C. And of course you can do the three battles a day and you might get a base shard, you might not. It's, it's a terrible way to farm him basically. They made it extremely hard for people. But the best way to get shards for bays right now is to go into your shipments and spend some gems. Oh man, the spending of the crystals is always painful, but this is the best way in order to get bays. Uh, usually he pops up like nine, uh, eight shards at a time, much like as you see Chirrut there. But you want to get bays. You don't want to get Chirrut this way. Uh, Bays will cost 640 crystals just like you see Chirrut is and this is the fastest way in order to get him because you get a lot of shards every single time that you do it. Uh, you just got to have the crystals to back it up. Now naturally this is better for a uh, pay player that is going to pay for shards or uh, pay for crystals I mean but uh, you can get crystals yourself and just build them up and every time that you see bays go ahead and snag them up Now unfortunately that isn't the answer that most people want to hear they want to hear a free-to-play way Well, the only way to do it free-to-play is to do it with the uh, hard mode 9c light side battles uh, Now should you get him in the store like from any of these packages or let's say the chromium package well you have to judge for yourself on what uh, package is good or bad whenever it comes to these types. Uh, take for instance, uh, you know, if you're going to pay like $10 for, you know, 80 bays shards or something like that, that would be an amazing deal. Uh, I can't really say if it's good or bad, it's a case by case basis. But one thing I can tell you is do not buy these chromium packs. The the luck factor usually is not going to be on your side whenever you're buying these in order to try to get bays or Chirrut shards. So don't do it that way. Go ahead and snag them up in the shipments and that's the best way to do it. And of course do your light side uh, 9C hard mode battles and get shards there as you can as well. All right, so now how to farm Chirrut because you need the two combo in order to make it really pop in your team and that is to go into the fleet shipments. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our fleet shipments here and many times Chirrut will be right here, right in this spot pretty much. Uh, he will be, yeah, he's always going to be in that spot, I believe. And you can get five shards at a time. And of course, with Bayes and Chirrut, you only need 50 shards each in order to activate them. And they're very good right off of activation as long as you gear them up. But uh, naturally, it's really hard to get the Bayes shards with the crystals and a little bit easier to get Chirrut. So this is the preferred way in order to get Chirrut. Don't spend crystals on him. Only spend them on Bayes if you're going to do it and uh, go ahead and spend your fleet uh, tokens on Chirrut. All right, so there you go. That's how to get shards for the two 
two of the best characters in the game currently of course the meta may shift and they may not be as good uh in a short amount of time uh it's a slippery slope and you never know what's going to be on top uh come the following week almost all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time